What up, what up, what up? It's your boy AD back with another video and I'm taking you guys to the gym with me again. Um, this time we're gonna be doing chest. I'm actually at the gym for the first time in the intro already. So we here with it already, ECA, the home gym or whatever. So anyway, I'm sitting in the car. I'm about to get this little, this basically like pre-workout. Uh, it's basically it's supposed to be like more natural. This can, uh, camera can never uh, focus. It's supposed to be more natural. I can't even focus it right now. There it is, level up. Basically, just more natural uh, energy drink. I just call it like a diet pre-workout. Um, I'll put the link in the description. They're the company that sponsored me, EPN Enhanced Performance Nutrition. Um, they're a good company. Uh, I, I, I stand by their products. I use their proteins all the time. And obviously, I'm about to just use this as well. And as other, the other products that they have as well, like BCAs and other things. Uh, but anyway, I'm about to get this in here. Go find a rack. Go get warmed up. And then I'll check back, with you, back in with you all in a second. So let's get it. And we are a go, we are on the bench. I always do this right here. I suggest everybody do this. Um, just get like 10, uh, you know, 20 reps on this. I do this for two sets of 10 um, with no weight on the bar, just getting the chest uh, fired up and getting the arms fired up. But as well as I do this uh, rotational workout for uh, my shoulders, cause I'm notorious for having shoulder problems when it comes to benching. And ever since I started adding this to my routine, I really opened up my shoulders on both sides. Uh, so I do this for two sets. And um, I have uh, actually decreased my shoulder problems to very minimal to if any at all. Um, so, yeah, I just really like doing this. So this is kind of a ritual I do when I'm warming up. And I suggest like a lot of people if you deal with shoulder issues while benching. This is something that you need to add to your regimen. All right. So now that the chest is and the arms are fired up and the shoulders are loose. Now I'm going to put some weight on the bar. Um, so like I said right here, I, I do two sets of 10 um, just for a warm up. So you guys can see that in the description to the bottom left. All right, so now that we finish off with those, I'm putting on another wheel and I'm doing another two sets of 10, just really making sure that the chest is really fired up and warmed up because I did come into the gym a little sore and a little stiff from sitting down all day. So I'm um, just making sure that I have no shoulder problems, no issues at all. So now that we're about 80% of my work and set weight, we're gonna drop the reps down to four. Just one set of four just to get the chest and everything fired up and ready to go. I'm not trying to burn myself out for the working set, but here's the first working set of 315, um, four of fours. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all four sets. So you guys can see how number one move versus number four, set number four. So yeah, enjoy the clips. All right, so now that we're done with flat bench, we're gonna jump into some incline bench. You guys seen how my first set moved versus my last one. On that last set, homeboy was ready to help me out, but I feel like when I have no spotter, it really lights a fire underneath me, like I gotta get this weight up. So that's like, I low key like uh, benching without a spotter sometimes when I'm not like going for a max because it actually does light that fire. Like I gotta get this up versus other times like, I got a spotter, nah, I'm not gonna really, you know, give it 110% on this rep. But anyway, that was the first set of incline bench. Now we're going to jump into um, uh, our second set. As you guys can see, this, even the first set to the second set, moved way more efficient. Um, I believe it's just because when I go from flat bench to incline bench, I'm already fatigued. Like, I'm mad fatigued from the flat bench. So I'm using, like, set number one and two to kind of recover. So that's why you look at these next two sets. And you're like, how is your first half of your workout versus your second half of your benching so much more efficient it's because of just a rest and recovery i guess from all the energy i had to exert on the flat bench but here is the last set of incline really firing up that upper chest and now we're going to jump into some accessories so now i'm doing three sets of 
like these are called 777 curls where you do a half at the bottom so you go from bottom half you do seven curls that way and then you go from half to top seven curls that way and after that you do seven full curls i just call them 777 curls and these are just a good exercise i like to do to fire up my um biceps after i've been just killing and attacking my um tri like my triceps and my chest and stuff like that just to get away from that for a second so yeah these are just uh, 777 curls so now that we're done with that brief bicep intermission, we're actually going to go right back to the chest and really isolate those. So we're going to be doing decline flies right here, which are um, going to be targeting the lower part of your chest. That's the real focus is you want to contract, you want to contract, you want to contract, which means you want to focus in on squeezing your chest to the maximum focus every time you close your hands. So three sets of 10 of those. And then we we'll are go right from the decline to just regular flies that you guys see right here and this is actually focusing on the middle chest and the intersection right now so as you guys can see every time i close my hand my pecs are trying to touch each other and that is the goal and that is what i'm staring at and that is what i'm trying to do right there and that hold right there is just let you guys know it's like i've done it and now we're going to get into some incline flies right here which actually target the outer part of the chest you guys can see every time i let it down in the eccentric just like a three second eccentric um down right there you guys can see how the chest expands right there so yeah i am targeting the outer section of the chest as well as the top when i um roll up so yeah that is the goal with these right here just really firing up the entire chest it's not leaving one stone unturned so yeah Although you guys got the idea of uh, when I did these incline uh, flies, but I really wanted to bring the camera into focus to show you guys what's happening uh, with these flies right here. So as you guys can see on the way up, my chest is just or like the uh, upper part of my chest is really contracting and stuff like that and squeezing. And then when I go down, my chest is expanding um, because I am letting it down in the about doing like a two, two and a half second eccentric let down right there. Just really firing up the chest instead of just going, you know, just normal pace up and down trying to get the reps. Three sets of 10, slow down and really just focusing on contracting and expanding that chest right there. So now that we targeted the chest, we're going to just get some tricep work in here right now. Um, so now we're going to do three sets of 10 at one weight and then we're going to do a drop set of the 15. So this is just uh, set number one. I'm showing you, I'm going to show you guys from the right side and i'm gonna show you guys from the left side of these but i love doing these drop sets because my triceps are always on fire at the end of it which means and i'm doing a good job so that's why i really love it just watching the tricep just watching it contract every time i go down to the bottom and stuff like that so yeah here's the right side and then you're gonna see the left side in a second after all right, so this is going to be a sidebar because I know a lot of people, when they do tricep extensions, they talk about, oh, keeping a fixed arm, keeping a fixed elbow, where pretty much the only thing that's your, your elbow is moving, but your arm is not moving up and down. For me personally, I have not seen a difference between keeping a fixed elbow and uh, just doing it how I'm doing it right now. As uh, long as you're like not hunching your back over using your whole body, I feel like I get the same amount of work in my triceps. Actually, I get a little bit more with the, the what technique I'm doing it in my triceps. I don't know if that's just me because I'm doing more weight or whatever, but being fixed with your arms versus not, I don't really see a difference, so I don't really focus on it. But if you see a difference, then keep doing what you're doing. But anyway, uh, now that we're done with triceps and the drop set of triceps, I'm going to be fi uh, finishing off this workout with biceps and really focusing on contracting at the top and slow down, contracting at the top and slow down. Just really trying to get that muscle on uh, my muscle connection. Um, that's what really the contractions come in at when I'm focusing on these lifts and stuff like that. And I'm trying to create a mind muscle connection where it causes your body to really just focus on growing the muscle, getting the strength in that muscle. So that's what I'm doing there. So that's three sets of 12. I did the uh, first set on the arm and, um, and then now I'm doing it on my right arm right here. Just showing you guys both sides. But yeah, that is just the key to my workouts right there. So yeah.
all right just like that we're done for the day um that was a good chest work probably one of the better ones i had in a while like i had the sickest pump in my chest and in my triceps and biceps like my arms just felt like balloons like that uh spongebob episode when he had the uh the inflatable arms that's what my arms felt like after this workout so that means it was a good workout um but other than that uh yeah that's all i got for you guys today uh before we leave you know what i'm gonna have to ask you to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification well shares with your people i'm trying to grow zady fitness family and the way we can do that by more i see in the video so anyway i'll talk to you guys next week peace